Yo guys, welcome back to a brand new PDCGO Legacy video. Uh, today guys, we're going to be taking a look at a Black Hiram deck in Legacy Black Hiram with the attack Black Ballista. Does 200 damage, so it can take out pretty much everything in the Legacy format that isn't a wall. And of course, we are going to be powering this up through Blastoise with Deluge. This deck is really strong, and it used to be a pretty powerful deck back in the day when it was in the standard format way back in like 2013. So yeah, if you guys want to go on to support the Legacy content, leaving a like in the video would go a long way to help the Legacy video get out there in the algorithm, I guess, so more people can see it and more people can get interested in the Legacy because Legacy is not a very populated format, and I want it to be a populated format, and I want more people to get into it. So the more people that get into it, the better so if you want to leave a like in the video would be appreciated all right so yeah this is the list i got here for the black hiram deck it's a very fun deck to play again black hiram can take out anything in legacy other than like sigilif and suicune but it's a very powerful card when combined with blastoise so before getting the video guys of course shout out to the sponsor card cabin tcg as always guys if you're ever looking for any pdcgo pan codes make sure to get them over at card cabin card cabin sells codes online for the cheapest so if you guys want to pick up any set codes like battle styles shining fades Vivid Voltage, Rebel Clash, Sword Shield base set, Sun and Moon sets, or if you want to get maybe a theme deck code, a V code, a GX promo code, an ETB code, or one of the battle kit codes like the ADP Zation one, get them over at Card Cavern. And if you get any codes over at Card Cavern, of course, guys, at the checkout, you can use my discount code, code LDF, for a 5% discount on your purchase at the checkout. Help the channel, help yourself out, and up our Card Cavern. So big shout out to Card Cavern, check them out, and make sure to use code LDF if you get any codes. Also, if you want to give the video articles I posted over there a watch, it would be appreciated. So this is what I got here for my Black Hiram and Blastoise list. Um, yeah, very cool archetype. I like this. Honestly, I like this build a lot more than the Blastoise Keldeo build. Um, like the straight Blastoise Keldeo build, it's not terrible, but like that build just gets completely destroyed by Genesect. And to be fair, a lot of decks get destroyed by Genesect because a red signal is really hard to beat. Um, but Blastoise Keldeo, it's a fine deck. It's pretty solid. I wouldn't call it the best best legacy deck but it's 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 all right it's decent but i like the black hiram one a bit more because black hiram gives you more options having the ability to just do 200 damage flat out is very powerful now this card when combined with deluge is how we power it up but it's also extremely good with superior energy retrieval which allows you to discard two cards from your hand and then you can put four basic energy from your discard pile in your hand literally superior energy retrieval will power up black hiram's black ballista attack because it gets four energy and you can literally go double water or triple water and a light energy which will completely power up black ballista's attack cost in one turn which is really powerful um superior energy retrieval is like the heart of this card's combo because it allows you to just put them back in your hand and then play the blastoise delusion back on the kirim and then take a big ko once again um, that is pretty much that funny enough black kirim's biggest weakness probably is just dragon decks it does have a weakness to dragon most of you guys probably don't know, but dragon types used to be weak to dragon before the fairy type got printed in X and Y. So this guy does have weakness of dragon, so you might struggle against Garchomp. Um, against Garchomp, you have to just go Keldeo in that matchup. You can't really use Black Kiram. And against Ray Eels, you can still use this guy against Ray Eels because it still destroys them. You can do 400 damage, but you do get KO in return most likely, so it's a little sketchy, but Black Kiram is a trooper. But any other EX, Mewtwo, Landorus, Lugia, Thunderous... Genesect even they get destroyed by black ballista it does have a light energy in its attack cost so i am playing like an energy search to kind of make up for that these dragon pokemon do need that extra energy in their attack cost now i'm playing electrode another really important card in the deck um is electrode using magnetic draw allowing you to draw cards until you have four in your hand it's very helpful because when you play cards like superior energy retrieval and stuff and junk arm even junk arm for superior retrieval your hand's going to be kind of tiny and we do play execute but having a magnetic draw is useful but also if your opponent ends you to a low hand size you can magnetic draw and try to draw back into a way to attack with a water pokemon or a black hiram that's why it's important it's a miracle to set up i am playing sweet as another way to buy time um set up now one thing about this deck is it should be playing more tropical beaches i only got one beach and i know some of you guys probably don't even have beach so if you want to take out beach uh, i would probably just cut a beach for another pokemon of your choice you could add maybe another smeargle or if you have if you have two smeargle or you can add like a cleffa um you can add another suicune i guess or you can just add another draw supporter like add a fourth professor oaks new theory if you don't have a beach or if you have beaches add more to the deck if you have more than one beach put more beaches in um yeah that's just pretty much that it's like the best card in the format for these stage two decks. Um, I am playing a heavy ball, really cool card. It allows you to actually grab both Blastoise and Black Hiram. So heavy ball is insane in this deck. I am playing dual ball to find your uh, Squirtles and like Keldeos and stuff. Then we got all the other stuff. Let's go try the deck out and uh, get some dubs, maybe. See. 
All right, let's get into the first match with Black here and Blastoise here and see how it does here on PDCGO. All right, how are we getting here? We get a Suicune start. All right, not the best hand ever. We can Heavy Ball for a Black Kyurem, though, again, a Light Energy on it, which is decent. Let's see what we're playing against here. Ooh, looks like it's a Mewtwo deck. They got Mewtwo, which is fine. Any any EX can get slain by Kyurem pretty easily. Uh, ooh, these draws are just not, not that great. We'll scrap the Kyurem here. Bench it. Put Light Energy on it and pass. Yeah. Not much I can do. We didn't get much else. I don't think I can do anything else this hand. Uh, we're just going to pass... Maybe we get end. Maybe we draw an end or an oak or Skyla. If we draw Skyla, we can grab a level ball or not dual ball or a Squirtle. Maybe I don't know. Speaking of Skyla, there's a Skyla from my opponent. They're probably looking for a laser. Yeah, and they're going to try to laser KO my Suicune. Suicune is just here to buy us time until we can get the Blastoise in play. All right. Maybe top deck here. Okay, nice. We got the uh, Squirtle. I do think we just ultra ball the hand away. We'll just get rid of the hand here. Uh, we'll grab Squirtle. We can Float Stone the Suicune. Let me get his Juniper. Here we go. Let's see if we find anything juicy. Okay, that's pretty good. Uh, we can go Attach, Bench. Uh, we can try to put a Kelbio in the active. I don't know. I don't really want to do that. I might just grab Tropical Beach, to be honest. And I'm just going to get Beach here. Let's get Beach. Actually, I kind of want to keep the Dual Ball. I don't think they play crushing hammer. Nah, we'll we'll get rid of the uh we'll get rid of the light energy. We'll keep the dual ball around. Dual ball is always a good card. Do we have beach in the deck? We do. Yeah, we're gonna grab the beach. If only I played more beach, but uh what can you do? Might as well play this. Better draw more cards. Ooh. Oh shoot. Dang, chill game. Alright, we're going Squirtle Keldeo here. Alright. See, dual ball can be a good card. Like, do like that's like literally the best ball search card ever printed if it gets double heads. Nice, we got the Blastoise. Um, and we got the energy too to KO them. So we will knock out the Mewtwo next turn as long as they don't end me. Or Scrapper me, that works too, I guess. Now we have to find a Junk Arm. If we can draw a Blastoise, we can Skyla for Junk Arm and then grab the Float Stone for Keldeo. We can always attack with Keldeo if we can draw an energy, but I don't really want to do that. I'd rather just take the KO with Black Ballista doing 200 damage to the Mewtwo. We'll see if they have a counter stadium. I don't think if they had one, I don't think they'd play it. They probably want to use the tropical beach. They don't seem to be drawing very well. Never mind. All right, we'll see if they're playing any other attackers. What could they be playing? They could be playing. They're playing Sigil. If we actually probably want to keep Sweet Coon alive. Same thing with. We probably need Blastoise for that too. Okay. Oh, there's a computer search. We'll see what they grab here. I gotta assume it's another basic, right? I gotta assume they're getting a basic, like. They could get a counter stadium, but why would you not just play the beach here? You know, I feel like my what he actually does get a counter stadium. That's annoying. But like at the same time, why would you not take advantage of that? Because I'm probably just going to win the game now, um, depending on what I top deck here. Never mind. <laughs> I'll just rush in with Keldeo. Let Keldeo take a hit. It's all good. You just get Ultra Ball. Yeah, just get Ultra Ball. Propagate. I originally did play two Execute in the deck, kind of for this reason, but I think one's just fine. Get rid of Smeargle, doesn't really seem very useful. Grab Blastoise. We don't have our other Float. We have to get Junk Arm to get our Float Stone back. Interesting. So let's get the Blastoise in play. We're going to rush in here. Let our Keldeo probably take 120 damage, but that's fine. As long as our Black Hiram goes ham. I'll just pass. I don't know if I should have put the energy on now, but I think I should. They could end me or something, right? We just want to make sure the thing's powered up. I don't know. Maybe that's why they bumped the Tropical Beach. Still, I probably would have, like, there's no reason not to take advantage of it there. Let's see if my opponent can get another Pokemon. There we go. They got another Mewtwo. All right. So now our game plan is we have the Black Ballista, those three EXs, and we win the game. We'll see if it happens. Oh, they're not side driving me. I don't know why they wouldn't do side drive. All right. There's a Superior Energy Retrieval. We don't have enough energy, though, to make it work. So we're just going to... Fight the Professor's Oak and hope for the best. There we go. We got him. Nice. Yep. Um. Do we want to keep the dual ball around? Not really. I probably honestly, I'd rather thin it out of the deck. I mean, we don't really need it anymore, in my opinion, because we're kind of, our deck's already kind of thinned. You know. Here we go. Floatstone the Keldeo. Retreat. 
into the Black Hiram and Black Ballista for 200 damage. Bye bye, Mewtwo. My man didn't stand a chance. Let me just get rid of the water energy, keep the light energy on, and we'll see what my opponent does here. If they play another Hypnotoxic Laser and they do get heads and I don't wake up, we do have Keldeo to rush in. We got another Float Stone if they tool scrap for me. We got another Keldeo. I don't really need that though. Probably gonna Super Rod here, put back Blastoise, Squirtle, and Lightning Energy. And we just gotta try to Juniper into a Superior Energy Retrieval. Are right, they're gonna get this me? That's fine. I didn't. I, I mean, no, whatever. You know what? Actually, I kind of like keeping the rare candy around. To be honest, there is that sigil. If I kind of figured they'd play one, it's annoying. Another water energy is pretty hype. Yeah, our game plan is to. We're gonna have to knock out this Mewtwo with a blast or the sigil with Blastoise. Nice. We do get the KO. Um, superior way the energy search I think doesn't really seem very good. Doesn't really matter. I keep the energy in my hand or I get the re energy search and they're both fine. They're both fine discards. Um, here we go. Deluge. One. Two. Yeah, we can attach the light energy somewhere. Might as well just put that on Suicune. Uh, we might get into two. I probably do want to play this Deluge. I want to try to get a... We need to get Electrode in play. I don't... I honestly forget if it's in the deck or not. <laughs> <laughs> I feel I'm a dummy. I kind of I, I forget if we actually have it in the deck. It's a bit of a, a bit of a misplay there, but um, I should probably have checked if we have the electrode in the deck. So I don't know if it's in the deck or not. I would like to go get electrode here, but I don't know if it's in the deck. Actually, to be fair, we I don't know if I, I want to get rid of all these cards in my hand. Um, I'm gonna hold the super rod. I mean, I will deluge like. The the Suicune if they threaten me with Sigil. If they can't attack me anytime soon, so we should probably get a free hit in. Those Black Bliss. And if they go Mew, we just knock it out, hopefully, and if not, we can just pressure with Suicune until they build this up. I mean, they are down how many DCs? Two? I mean, yeah, we'll see. Alright, another Energy Fuel's good. There's Ultra Ball. Alright, we can get Electrode next turn if it's in the deck. Again, I don't remember if it's in the deck or not. It's my bad. I kind of forgot if my boy Electrode's prized. Kind of needed here. They end me to two. We do need a way to dry out of it. Oh, they're going to get this my entire hand away. And that's annoying, but not the end of the world. We're going to have to play our N here as our draw supporter. That's fine. I think we're I think we're in a good spot regardless. They do get an energy on. We're only ending them to six. There's actually a good chance they do body me here. Hmm. Well, we could bring in Sweet or Caldeo's okay here. It can take a hit from Psychic. Can't get knocked out by the Verbank Laser Psychic attack. Uh, there's a Junk Arm. Could play that to grab nothing. And we're gonna end and pray, guys. We're going for the end. They have a huge hand. Ooh, not much there. We did get Super Rod. I don't really want to play that because we draw Superior. We can bet rather take advantage of that. So we're just gonna go Suicune here. Suicune and pray that they do not have a DC in their hand. They probably do have one. If not, they're probably going to find it. They have two in the deck, so there could be one or two prized, right? You never know. They had a mat. They had that. They had a. They had to have a DC in their last hand that we just end away. Their hand was massive. Hopefully, they whip the DC here. We'll see though. Ooh, tool scrapper. That's annoying. They have two scrappers in the deck. Why do they pay two scrappers? I will never know. There's you. Okay, that could have gone heads. Judging from the laser, they don't have the DCE. Ooh, Junk Arm. What could they grab with this that's useful? Probably just Laser again, right? They could grab Computer Search, I guess. Yeah, they're probably going to go Computer Search for DC, actually. Well, then why would they play the Laser? That's one less Laser they have. Now they're going to be in, like, top deck mode, pretty much. If they do grab Computer Search here for a DCE. Which they do grab. Yeah, they are going to go for it. They could have prized DC. Remember, they might not have checked their prizes. DC could be prized for them. We'll see. What supports do we have left? We have, um... Still have Oaks left. Still have one Juniper. Still have Electrode somewhere in the deck. We'll see. I mean, I hope Electrode's in the deck again. I can't remember if it's in the deck or not. All right, there's a computer search. Oh, they did have an Oak now. Well, if they grab DC again, they're going to be in top deck mode now. So it's up to them. Hopefully they prize their DC, so that would just be even better. Make my life easier. No chance. All right. Now we have to wait until Blastoise gets powered up. Which is fine. We still have time. Still have time. Probably could have brought in Squirtle, to be honest. Oh, the Oak top deck, bro. That's dirty. All right, let's play the Super Rod. Get back Blastoise, Water, and Suicune. Nice. 
We'll keep the energy in the discard for superior. Here we go. We still need to find a float stone, though. We're not out of the ballpark yet. Yeah, we'll lift the attack here. We have another end for next turn. Oh, no. All right, we'll bench Suicune. I mean, if Electro's in the deck, I might as well play it now, but I need the Junk Arm Float Stone, too, right? We're just one energy shy of attacking here. You know? Honestly, I probably should have... I'd, I'd rather Blast with attack because we could do Hydro Pump, knock it out, and then if we get two more energy on, we just one-shot the Mew. Wouldn't be terrible. We just need to find our Float Stone. gonna pass i mean they're gonna hit me for 50 they can two shot me they play a laser they can't knock me out going they still can't kill me that they hope they don't have a laser i'm hoping they are dead drawing though this man drew an oak oh my goodness well my opponent is still in the game that is super annoying how many oaks have they played they played four oaks they're out of oak this game is way more closer than it should be but we are just not finding the resources needed okay we survived the turn which is good Nice, got another Blastoise. Do we even want to put that in play? Yeah, I think we do. We have to end them. But we can wait a turn to end them. But end's not going to get us into a winning position. I think I'd rather do it now. Even though I could end them to three next turn, I still want to do it now. Ugh. Still didn't get anything, damn it. Bro, we might actually lose this game because we can't draw the right comp of cards. Oh, no. Well, we actually can junk arm and knock out the Suicune next turn. Or the Sigilyph, actually. Yeah, yeah. We have we can knock out the we can knock out the Sigilyph. We can what's a junk arm for a energy search. Never okay, Mac, that's actually fine. They still can't attack me. They can't kill me with laser. They have one DC left, so they might not even be able to find that. That is annoying though. But Sigilyph can't one shot Suicune. It only does 80 damage with three energy, so they can't one shot me. Oh, they have hand. I, why would I? I knew they had crushing hammer in their deck, bro. I just knew it. Yeah, of course they get heads. Of course. How many superior entries do we have left? We have one left. Yikes. We can. I guess we can computer search next turn. We can computer search this turn actually. All right, go here. Junk arm. Yeah, we can computer search, I guess. That'll have to do it. Damn, bro. The crushing... Uh, bro, I did not expect them to play crushing hammer in their deck. And of course, they do play it. Like, why would you play hammer when you're playing Mewtwo and Sigilyph that do more damage for each energy on? That is, like, anti-synergistic. We got two energy. We got a float stone. We got a superior. We don't have Electrode. Look at that. I was right. Good thing I didn't gamble. I knew it was prize, bro. I figured. Let's see if we can get the right combo of cards here. No. We did with an energy. No, we can superior, right? We can superior for the knockout. Okay, we got the KO. Okay, we can go junk arm away the egg. We get rid of oh, the ultra ball too. It's pretty useless. Well, actually the candy is even more useless. Grab superior energy retrieval. We have one left. Right? We have one in the deck, I'm pretty sure. Hopefully it's in the deck. We'll get rid of the Ultra Ball here. We want to keep the Tool Scrapper around, I guess. We're going to have to take a kill with Blastoise. We'll see how that goes. Got four energy. That Sigilyph, man, is just too much of a pain. But we're finally going to get through it. Like, this thing almost won my point of the game, because we're going to deck out soon, too. If they, if they have a third Scrapper in their deck, bro, I'm actually done. All right, here we go. Hydro Pump for the knockout. We'll see if my opponent can KO me in return with Mewtwo. Let's see what our prize is here. Oh, we got the Electrode. I think that was the worst prize we could have gotten. Is our last prize superior energy retrieval? If that's the case, we lose. Because we have no way to attack again with Blast with Black Kyurem. Because we're out of Junk Arm. I hope it's not the last prize. That was the last prize. That was the worst thing we could have gotten was Electrode. Oh, no. We can still win if it's in the deck. We just play it and then take a KO. Hopefully they don't knock me out. I don't think it matters if they don't kill me or not, right? It doesn't really matter. 
They're playing the Skyla here. I'm assuming that's getting laser, but they need an energy in their hand. And they are down. They're down quite a few energy. They're down four psychics, three DC. Oh, they're down six psychics, three, seven psychics. They're down 10 energy. It's a good chance they don't have an energy in their hand right now. Yeah, they get laser. That's fine. They already knocked me out with X-Ball, right? No, they don't. Actually, I think that's still short on the KO. Of course, they get heads. Lol. All right. Sure, that energy. Please don't have another tool, Scrapper. Thank you. Is that, I think that KOs me. That's 100. Oh, yeah. Okay. So, yeah. If we prize our last appear and retrieval, we lose the game. If not, we have game here. Let's see. All right. What do we draw? We had a water in the deck. It's not going to do as much. I don't think Suicune can buy us any turns. We just don't have enough cards in the deck. You can only... Yeah, it's not going to work. You can take a peek real quick. See if it's in the deck. It is. All right. We have game. Let's go. We got him. We got my opponent. Whew, what a close match. Came way more closer than it should have been, but that freaking Sigilyph and those dead draws were just absolutely just terrible for us. But we still managed to beat my opponent's Psychic Ox deck. And uh, yeah, here we go. Take the three energy. We still got through it. And we got the dub with Black Ballista here. Going to blow up my opponent's Mewtwo. And we are going to take that dub. Black Ballista for 200 damage. See you later, Mewtwo. And that's game. Black Ballista taking out anything in Legacy. All right. That was, yeah, that was a way closer to the game than it should have been. But that was still a pretty good match. Yeah, okay. Last prize was an energy. Yeah, I figured we had the Electro prize. I, we probably would have won this game a lot faster had Electro not been prized. Because having it when we end ourselves constantly to low hand sizes would have been really nice to have. But we actually do get the rare chest here off of the versus ladder. That's pretty sick. Let's open that bad boy up. Let's see what we can pull out of that. Um, hopefully we don't pull a bad hollow. But yeah, let's open that. Let's open that rare chest up here for you guys. See if we can pull out of it. I'm hoping for some money. Open some money cards. Where is it? There it is. Here we go. Rare chest time. What are we gonna get? We get. Oh, holy crap! 120 coins. I've never gotten that before. All right, let's go. We got an actual playable card, a Salamence VMAX. Awesome. All right, I'll take it. All right, here we go. Get into our next match here in Legacy with Black Kyurem, and let's see how we do in this game. All right. Okay, I was like, oh, do we have a Suicune start? Or Execute start? That's the worst thing you can do. Like, originally, I did play two Execute in the deck because it's really good to have two because then you can just play it to play the Energy Retrieval and Junk Arm for free. Okay, we hit a Virgen deck. Oh, our start is kind of awkward, too. Now, Suicune actually can't get damaged here. They can get hit by Celebi, but they don't play Psychic. The problem is they have G-Booster. G-Booster goes straight through Suicune. Um, I think I just pass. We have to get multiple Squirtles in play, too. Red Signal is a huge pain for this deck because they can just gust out the Squirtle before you can put it in play or the Blastoise, right? So the Verzian Genesec matchup is still kind of a bad matchup for you, even with the Black Hiram. And not using Keldeo. It's just, like you can't set up a stage two if they red signal you constantly. So we just got to pray they don't red signal me. I probably could have benched the Keldeo to be honest. Might not have been the worst thing ever. But it looks like they would have red signaled me anyways. But yeah, that's a good thing I didn't mention. We just wall with Suicune. I mean, they could just win this turn. I mean, they'd have to oak into literally the G booster. And an energy to KO me here. But we'll see. They could get a knockout. It's not impossible. Whoa, what the heck? What does this do? Move as many special energy. Interesting tech card. Okay, they didn't get the knockout. We're not drawing fantastically well either, though. It's Juniper. Fine. Here we go. What are we looking at here? Okay. We have Jirachi in the deck. I'm not really trying to play Jirachi, though. You know? Okay, let's play the dual ball. See if we get any heads. Okay, I was like, one heads. We got Jirachi in the deck. We could go Smeargle. No, we can't. We can't move. Never mind. Do I want to bench this? We have Electrode in the discard pile, but we can always get it back. So. We have to save the Ultra Ball for what's-his-face next turn for Jirachi. We have to get Jirachi next turn. We can't play the Ultra Ball for Blastoise. Unless we draw a supporter, we can get Blastoise into play, which I'm hoping we can do. The problem is we're weak to grass. They are down one of their Plasma Energy. We'll see, though. They could be dead drawing. I don't know. It's a tough matchup. Like You just have to get multiple Squirtles in play in order to win, but even then, it's still kind of tough because they can still Red Signal... Red Signal is, like, terrible for this deck. Like, Genesect, it's 
This thing is like the most insane card in Legacy outside of Vile Plume. This card is like I hate this card a lot. I almost hate it more than Vile Plume. We'll see if they have anything here. Nope. Nice. Okay. We can chunk off our dual ball. Yeah, let's do that. I think I've more lightning. Now we can't type with black here until we find super rod. If we can get double heads here, we can get the uh what's his face into play. Oh, you know what? Actually, oh, I was gonna say if we got double heads, I would have been super punished for that. Because we actually could have gone black here and attached an energy to it. Because we have the execute to work with. I completely forgot we could have executed there before I played the junk arm. Doesn't really matter, but what kind of does now? But we got the blast voice in play, which is all that matters. We do need to find Rod, though. We need to rob back those energy when we need to get the Electrode back. Um, we can play Chorus here. Draw eight cards. We can knock out the Celebi if we can find energy. Nice. Okay, I'm liking what I'm seeing. Or maybe not. I didn't get any energy off of that. It's insane. Hmm. How am I going to sequence this? We'll propagate. I'm going to play the energy retrieval, that's for sure. We'll get rid of the Tribal Beach and the egg. Honestly, I'm not even sure we should have even be attacked with Suicune here. I'm not sure that's the correct play. The problem is, they're going to red signal my Blastoise. We need to get another Squirtle down. But we have Suicune, but they can use G-Booster, right? G-Booster goes straight through Safeguard. I do want to bench this Black here. I'm here, but I also want to get another Squirtle down. You know? I'd rather have another Squirtle in play than the Black Kyrum. I I don't know. It, it red signal, bro. I told you. It's just it's stupid, bro. It's actually ridiculous. It's a little ridiculous. All right, we have to probably get rid of the energy. We have to make sure we keep Blastoise in play because they're just gonna red signal my uh, my man's. The way that was played out, anyways, we have to find Super Rod still. So knock out the Celebi. Why not take a prize? Well, we still can. Another N. All right, sure. We'll see if we can do anything here. We're still like, I don't know. <laughs> Not great. We have two, actually, you know what? My opponent can just body my bench. They can go red signal, knock out Jirachi, red signal, knock out Keldeo. That's just not very good. That's the problem with this matchup. This, this matchup is just too tough. It's just too tough. It's just too tough. Let's see if they find the energy or the G booster. They need a plasma or a G booster. There's the G booster. They hit it off the oak. They just knock out my sweet cube. Told you they go right through me. Now, they are leaving the door open for me to KO them, though, with Black Hiram, though, which is good. They haven't played a Junk Arm yet, though, but we'll see. We might maybe be able to make a comeback, though. The fact that they didn't knock out Blastoise there is good. They are leaving the door open for Black Hiram. Okay. Oh, Propagation. Get the Junk Arm. Get rid of N and this. Grab Superior Energy Retrieval. Maybe we should have just... I don't know. What do we want to energy retrieval away, though? I want to keep the candy around. Definitely want to keep the N. We need the energy, too, to attack. So we have to get... It's going to have to be the rare candy. Yeah, no cap. We have to sacrifice the rare candy here in order to attack. That's kind of unfortunate. Well, we can't attack just yet. We need one energy, which, I mean, we could whiff. It's, I don't know. It's unlikely. It's unlikely with the energy. Never mind, we did whiff it. Oh no. Oh no. We can computer search for the energy, but then we have to get rid of another card in our hand. Jeez, man. This is rough. This is so rough. Do we have energy search in there? Please tell me we do. We don't. Bro. Oh no. We have to get rid of the blast waste probably too. Yeah, it's unfortunate. We can rod it back. We need to find that super rod, man. We can find that rod. I'm gonna grab energy search. It thins out two cards out of the deck. Um, rod's in there. We have that last candy and blast toys. It's unfortunate we had to sacrifice this many. Yeah, I don't know. We still have the uh, thing. So if they don't knock me out next turn, which, you know, there's a chance we do survive. We might be able to take another set of prizes here. We'll see what happens. Black Ballista. See you later, Genesect. You didn't stand a chance. All right, here we go. See what our prize... I don't even know what's prize, to be honest. I don't know if there's anything good in the prizes. 
I guess the supporter is the only thing we really want. There we go. Nice. Huge card. All right. Both two good prizes. You'd love to see it. Let's see if my opponent can kill me. They need a lot. They need an energy. They need a junk arm to get back G-Booster. Hmm. I wonder if we can knock them out Keldeo, actually. Oh, no, dude. They got the knockout. Dang it. They have the junk arm. Crap. But they got another Black Hiram in play. Hmm. They had the nuts. Okay, they could whiff energy here. They are down a few energy. They couldn't. They could whiff energy here. There's a chance. There's a chance they whiff energy for Celebi. Well played. Ooh, did they whiff? What? Okay, I'll take it. I guess we could just knock them out Slash. I, why would they concede? Well, they guess with the energy. There you go. Boom. We. I'm surprised we won that game. Things were not looking that great, but you know what? We got them anyways, and that is all that matters at the end of the day. All right, here we go again into another match with the Black here and Blastoise. We didn't win the coin flip, which is not great. Now, what would you guys think if I did a video on the Verizon Genesect Celebi deck? It's a video I haven't done before. I would be down to make a video on that deck. All right. Hmm. Interesting. I'll start with Squirtle. Actually. Hmm. No, we'll start with Black here. I was like going to go start Squirtle and then uh, retreat into Suicune or... What's his face? Or Smeargle, which is tempting, but I don't know. Ah, oh, we're playing against Plasma, bro. Crap. That's such a bad matchup. It's not a bad matchup, but like it's a single prize deck. And it's like it does it's 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 not a good matchup. Oh, let's just let's just say it's not really that great of a matchup for us. I don't even know what to grab here, to be honest. I guess like Keldeo would be great to have in play. Just so we have the ability to rush in outside of laser. I would have gone Voltorb too. I was thinking about another Squirtle. Squirtle's ability, thankfully. Luckily, we do have Shell Shield, so we can't get damaged by Frost Spear. Yeah, this Plasma matchup is not very good. I'm not a fan of playing against this deck, and it is a bad matchup for Black Kyrim, probably. Maybe. We'll see. The, the, Kyr the, the normal Kyrims are a pain, right? You know, we have Black Kyrim, but they got normal Kyrim, which is kind of hard to deal with. Uh, we do have Keldeo, though, which in, uh, I guess, be our better. It's probably better to use Keldeo, to be honest. We should probably just use Keldeo here. They have a gas start. They're probably going to hit me here with a Frost Spear, I'm assuming. And I don't know if we're going to be able to Juniper into a Blastoise or not. Yeah, the, the normal Kyrams are really hard to deal with. They are very hard to deal with. They do two. They do a lot of damage. They're, they only have a one prize. And actually, they're kind of tanky, too. 130 HP is actually kind of bulky. Yeah, this, yeah, we'll see how it goes. Not a great matchup to hit, though, for sure. Definitely not a fun match for us. Best thing they can do is not attack me or laser me here. If we take no damage, I'm feeling pretty good. Nice. All right, what do we draw? Bro, not like this. No, we're candy. Might as well tap the active, I guess, until we get going. For a candy blast toys? No chance, bro. We have it next turn, I guess, but then we have to play our supporter. My opponent gets... The attack, a bangle, and a laser, they can one-shot my black here in here. Hmm, that's pretty scary. I could get Voltorb, but I think I'd rather Voltorb stay alive. I think we'll just pass. Yeah, I'm just gonna pass. I'm not gonna play the float because these plasma decks play like two copies of Tool Scrapper. Yeah, not a very good hand. Best thing we could have gotten there was Blastoise, or even just a tropical beach would be good too. We have two candies, so hopefully we can draw into a way to get Blastoise here because I'm not really trying to Juniper away two of my rare candies and a superior retrieval. Well, we're gonna play it, I guess, but still, it's not very good. I could Skyla for Heavy Ball and just get the Blastoise, but I, we're gonna be kind of far behind. You know, I'd rather just play aggressive while I still can. You know, I'd rather just play aggressive and just risk getting the Blastoise off this Juniper. Or we can draw into it. You never know. Heavy Ball might be prized too, and that'd be pretty bad. I think we just Juniper and Gamble. Okay. They have 110 HP, so we can knock them out now with three energy on Secret Sword, which is nice. Yeah, I probably got the tech with uh, the Keldeo. We want to say Black Hiram for Thunders or something. You know? Deoxys could probably come in. Okay, nice. They don't have anything. That's really good. Do we draw? Junk Arm? Well, we have them. You have the Blastoise. We have to sacrifice every card in our hand outside of the Juniper. That's fine, though. Yeah, it's fine. Not a big deal. Just making sure we get this Blastoise in play is more important than my opponent... Because once we, we get to the first knockout, we're vibing. So I'm hoping we can just play aggressive. We just need three energy here off of this Juniper. We have one in the discard. 
No chance. Huh. Interesting. Let's burn this. Nice. Okay, I'm actually glad we got double tails. As weird as that might sound. We can still go electrode. We can't attack him. Dang, bro. The energy whiff. I'm making my life any easier, bro. I'm making my life any easier. Okay. Magnetic draw. Come on. Give me something. Nope. That's unfortunate. We are one energy short of being able to knock him out here with Black Kiram. That was a, that's a really bad whiff. No cap. That's a really bad whiff. I'm giving them another turn to set up now, which I don't like. They have one more turn now to maybe get into like a supporter or something. They can actually just knock me out. They have an energy. That's not good. Black Hiram's going to go down. Then we get superior, I guess. Sure. See what happens. We can still win this game, but like, we need to attack them. Like, if we can get this knockout here before they do anything, we have a good chance of getting far ahead in the game. That's what I want to do. I want to get far ahead in this match. Yeah, now they Blizzard Burn. They're going to get two prizes. Pretty confident they're going to get a supporter off of these two prizes here. That's so unfortunate, man. Kind of, kind of mad about that. All right. Here we go. What are we top deck? Okay, Squirtle. We can just play this, I guess. Get the energy back. Blastoise. We have a light energy. I'm going to save that for another Black Kyrm. Here we go. Chorus. We just need one energy here. And we got it. I was kind of worried we weren't going to get it there. No cap. I was like, oh, are we going to really whiff it today? But we got him. We got him. Play this, I guess, too, just to burn it. We can junk arm here. Uh, we can wait to computer search for junk arm. So we're just going to secret sword. Knock out the Kyurem. Take it out. Hopefully they don't have anything here. I'm still scared of them getting a supporter. We still haven't even seen a laser yet. We still have to deal with Hypnotoxic laser. Um, we have Floatstone, though, so we can pivot out of laser. But I still kind of am scared of laser. We want to maybe knock him out with Keldeo next turn. If we, or bl with uh, Black Kyurem. Yeah, they're going to go Thunder. So we want to knock him out with uh, Black Kyurem here if we can. That's going to be the goal. I'm going to be curious, though. Did they get a supporter off of this? How many superiors? we got one left in the deck. We have two junk arms. Still super odd. Let's see if they... Uh, do we have super odd? Yeah, we should. Yeah, yeah, we still... I guess we need another Blastoise in play. But I don't know if they play Gust or not. Did they get a supporter off of that knockout they just took? I gotta assume they did, but uh, I've seen... I've seen crazier things happen before. Let's see what they got. Nice. Okay. This is good. <laughs> The best way to beat Team Plasma, I guess, would just be have them dead draw for a little bit while you kind of take take some prizes before they kind of body you. Because they steamroll you, man. This matchup is just terrible. Okay. So, Floatstone. Junk Arm. Computer Search. We don't have to have Computer Search, actually. We have no energy in the discard, so I think we always... Yeah, just get Computer Search. I'd rather just take the Comp Search here. Put that on. We'll execute Computer Search. Well... We could have seen what Electrode got us, I guess, but let's just computer search for Juniper. I'm not even going to bother playing Electro. We could draw into extra retrievals and stuff. Yeah, we got him, so we're chilling. And we have the other Keldeo. The Kel one more energy on the Keldeo, we one shot the uh, Kyurem. So we're taking, we're taking, we're taking this game over. This is good. This is a good spot to be in. Uh, let's save the Super Rod and then just take a knockout here with Black Ballista. Okay, we're making our comeback. We still have a shot of winning this. There's still like, there's still a chance. There's still a chance. There's still a chance. That was a big knockout. Let's see what our prizes are. More energy, maybe? It would be the best thing we get. Ends okay. All right, I guess more supporters. We have eight cards left, though. We're going to deck out soon if we're not careful. This is why I wish I had two eggs in the deck, though, to play these superiors and junk arms. It's just getting rid of these excess cards can be kind of a headache. Oh, yeah, I'm pretty sure they're not KOing me this turn. They need a lot. Well, I know they could still get me. They might have me. They have a chorus machine. They can hit me for 140 damage. If they have a Verbank City Gym. No, they have a laser. Oh, they fail it. Never mind. Okay, well, they have a laser and a silver bangle. And they had a energy to attach. They would have got me. There's an end of three. We have the electrode. I'm not worried about that. We just need one energy to one water to attack with Keldeo. Let's see if we can find it. No. Got the uh, stuff back. There's the laser. Could they find they could scrapper the energy off or the floatstone? That'd be annoying. Okay, nice. Let's go. We're still in the game. I got to assume they're targeting my Electrode. Did they try to hit my Squirtle? They must have. Oh, there's an Energy Search. That was an insane top deck. 
Yeah, now we just... Yeah, now we're pretty much taking control of this game. We're just going to go Deluge. Rush in. We don't even have to play our supporters. We could just attack them. Well, we can play Electro to actually draw a couple cards. I'm not going to play the supporter. I'm going to hold on to it. Ooh, Beach. Hmm. Do we ever want to play that? I guess. There's no reason not to. Get rid of the Verbank City Gym. They're probably going to be able to kill Deoxys anyways. I think we'll just save it and just knock him out. We'll hold the Tropical Beach for a rainy day. I don't want to give them one either. I don't know. They could potentially go into another cure and buy a turn and then beach into a better hand and then maybe start making a comeback. So I don't want to give them the beach. It'll hold on to it. They could be dead drawing, right? So they did play an end last turn though. So anything's possible. We'll see what happens. They can kill my Deoxys. They need a Prism Energy and a Chorus Machine and they can take out my Deoxys here or my Keldeo with Power Excel. They have, they're down five other ways to attack though with Deoxys. So... We might be able to survive the turn. Very, very surprised we are we are in a good spot because again, I think this matchup is just terrible. It's not a very good matchup for this deck, in my opinion. But we got him. Let's go. We took down at the TDK deck. There you go. Alright. That's another deck I have to do a video on. You guys want to see a video on Verzi and Genesect Celebi and a TDK Team Plasma Kyurem deck? Let me know. I am down to do a video on both those decks. I haven't done a video on either of them. And hey, we got some packs to open up too. All right, that'll be it for the video, guys, on the Black Kyurem Blastoise deck here. We got some pretty good matches with the deck here. Honestly, kind of surprised we beat those two. We beat Verzian and TDK. Those are two matchups that I honestly think are kind of bad for this deck. Like, I just don't think they're very good matchups. And the fact that we beat them both is kind of good, you know? So maybe I underestimated the power of Black Kyurem and Blastoise together. Because we did just take down two matchups that I think are kind of awkward. All right. Arldart Urshifu one time. No, not even a chance. That's I've opened up probably like 300 battle styles packs and even more and i have not pulled the alt art urshifu v max yet so any day now would be great game we got one pack left yo one time do for the gang double rare oh man i'll take it i guess whatever all right that'll be it for the video guys on the black Kyurem blastoise deck let me know what you guys thought of the video in the comments down below do you guys like the deck and let me know if you want to see those other plasma or the those other legacy decks uh, just thanks for watching. Check out Car Cabin down below. Use code LDF. Leave a like of the video to support this video in the algorithm so more people can get into Legacy. Thanks for watching, guys. Check out my socials, my Twitch, my Twitter, my Patreon. Probably going to be posting a Legacy video to my Patreon later this week, so check that out, and I'll see you guys later. Bye-bye.